Hey guys, so today Radium announced another accelerator project finally after their last Mercurial Finance was over a month ago. And this new project is called Synthetify. And this one I'm really excited about and I'll explain why in a minute and exactly the details to get in on this pool and how you can take advantage of it. So going over what Synthetify is, at Synthetify on Twitter, it says they're a decentralized protocol for synthetic assets built on Solana. Well, you go and click on this Medium article that Radium posted and it actually goes into detail and it says, they allow for the creation and exchange of synthetic assets that closely track the price of underlying assets. So from what I got from this is basically, it'll say you have an underlying asset on the Binance Smart Chain, it doesn't trade on Solana ecosystem. Well, with Synthetify, possibly they'll make uh, say a token that emulates that underlying asset. And then basically you can still trade that on the Solana ecosystem. So again, another way of kind of bridging the gap uh, between the different chains. And I think this is something that's going to be very, very impactful, kind of help people to invest in different things if they want to just stay on one chain. So definitely something I'm excited for. Now, for this new public raise details, it's a little complicated. So we're going to go over this together. Um, it says, yeah, there's two options. So one, it says send accelerator public raise details. So total tokens for this is 700,000, which can be approximately one million dollars and the token fixed price is one dollar and fifty cents usdc for one sin token so this is going to be a lottery for allocation so what does that mean well they're going to have different winning tickets and it's based on how many coins you stake how many radium coins you stake equates to the, the number of tickets you're going to get and then from their lottery then you'll if you get picked you'll be able to use one ticket for 100 USDC into the pool, basically automatically granting you 66.6 .6 repeating SIN token. So it says number of winning tickets are 10,500. The pool is gonna open June 29th, 1200 UTC, and then June closes four hours later. Now, the biggest thing for this is you wanna have your token staked well before June 29th, okay? We have nine days until then, but you're gonna see why because of the specifics of how this is being tracked. So it says eligibility and pool details. Okay, there'll be one raid pool available for the Synthetify raise. So allocation will be determined by a lottery system. Allocation for one winning ticket, 100 USDC. There will be two snapshot deadlines to determine ticket allotment. So you have the seven day deadline, which is really coming up in two days. So you wanna have your raise staked in the next two days. It says eligibility at least 100 Ray staked in the Ray single-sided staking prior to the seven day deadline below. Now what that is, is if you go to radium.io, you click on the staking tab here, and then it'll bring up this window. You connect your wallet, and then it'll say stake Ray. All you do is click stake Ray. From there, it'll show your Ray balance, and then you can click max or however much you wanna stake. But remember, it has to be at least 100 Ray to be eligible for a ticket. And then you click confirm and then it'll tell you how much ray you're staking and then you'll get rewards based on this APR kind of as an added bonus, okay? So basically it says that you need to have at least 100 ray staked prior to the seven day staking deadline to be successful once the pool opens. Ray must remain staked until the pool opens. That means once you stake this, again, this needs to be staked for the whole time, okay? Until June 29th, this needs to be staked, okay? So just FYI there. And it says one ticket for every 100 ray stake up to a maximum of five tickets. Okay, so it says staking more than 500 ray will still receive five tickets maximum. So if you stake 2,500 ray, you're still only gonna get five tickets. So again, they provide examples as well. Um, that helps if you're still confused about that. The seven, seven day staking deadline is important. June 22nd, 1200 UTC. Now they have another deadline here. It's the 30 day deadline, okay? So for the 30 day deadline, it says to reward longer term radium holders Users that are eligible for the 30 day deadline will receive additional tickets on top of any received for the seven day deadline. Okay, so this is amazing because I know some people who've been staking Ray for longer than 30 days and they're finally gonna get rewarded for their patience, okay? So it says eligibility, at least 50 Ray staked 30 days prior to the 30 day staking deadline below and successful USDC deposit once the pool opens. Ray must remain staked until the pool opens. It says lottery tickets one ticket for every 50 race staked up to a maximum of five tickets and one additional ticket for every 1000 Ray staked. Okay. So basically they have an example here. So if Alice has 2,500 Ray before a 30 day deadline, she'll receive 12 tickets, five for the seven day deadline, hundred Ray max allotment again. Okay. She has 2,500, but they only allow for 500 Ray max. So you get five tickets, 
five for the 30 day de deadline of 50 ray max allotment, and then two additional for each thousand ray staked. So again, it's a lot of math here, but hopefully it's not too confusing. Um, and then the 30 day staking deadline is May 30th, 1200 UTC. So again, that's already passed obviously because it needs to be in for 30 days. So if you don't have them staked, yet or before this date here, then you don't have, you aren't eligible for 30 day, but again, you're still eligible for the seven day, as long as you stake it by June 22nd, 1200 UTC. Okay. So it says, how does it work for the tickets? Users receive tickets according to the ticket allotments above. However, for a ticket to be counted in the lottery, users must deposit USDC for each ticket they wish to have entered. So Alice has 12 tickets as the above example. Bob staked 300 Ray before the seven day deadline and received three tickets. And it says when the pool opens, users will need to deposit 100 USDC for each ticket in order to be counted in the lottery, okay? When the pool opens. Users can choose to deposit less than their total ticket allotment, ticket allocation. However, tickets without a matching deposit will not be entered in the lottery. Deposits must be in multiples of 100 USDC. So what does that basically mean, okay? That basically means if in this pool you want to get in the seven day deadline, you're going to stake 500 uh, 500 Ray, right? One ticket for each 100 Ray. Okay, cool. So you have five tickets. So you need to have 100 USDC. So you basically need to have 500 USDC because that's 100 USDC per ticket. Okay. So once the pool opens, once the pool opens for the accelerator project, again, make sure you have enough USDC deposited to cover however many tickets you're getting. If you're getting four tickets, 400 USDC, 12 tickets, 1200 USDC so on and so forth. And again, that's when the pool opens. So you can't do it now. It's once the pool opens. Um, and you'll, you'll see the token uh, basically here, uh, or the pool, I should say. So cool. So after we've done that, and then it says, once the pool closes, the lottery will take place and winning tickets will receive 100 USDC allocation for SIN. Results of the lottery will be shown very shortly after the pool closes. Users can have more than one winning ticket. Okay. And then once the lottery is complete, users will be able to remove their USDC for any tickets they did not win. So again, you're, if you don't win any tickets, you're going to get all your USDC back. It's not like they're going to take your money. So that's a good advantage. And then it basically talks about lottery transparency, so on and so forth. And then second is the SIN IDO on Radium. So the token starting price, again, $1.50 for one SIN. IDO launch time, June 30th at 1300 UTC. It says Radium will launch a SIN USDC liquidity pool on June 30th, 1300 UTC, after which trading will be live on the Radium swap interface. The AMM will begin placing orders on a serum short time after the LP launch. Participants with winning tickets for the Accelerator raise pool will also be able to claim their tokens at approximately the same time that the SIN USDC LP launches. Okay, and the Fusion pool will provide liquidity to earn SIN rewards. So basically, from what I'm getting from this is again, it's going to be initial Dex offering. The token's going to be live. People are going to buy it. It's going to pump a lot. Usually, these pools, the token pumps five to ten x. So again, that seems like a lot, but again. For these new coins, especially these accelerator projects, they pumped a lot because people can't get a lot of them, right? Like you can see a lot of these people are only getting, you know, you may get one winning ticket, potentially get picked. So that's only 100 USDC. Of course, people want to invest more than that. So they're going to buy the token. Now, if you do get winning tickets, you are, from my understanding, you will still receive the 66 SIN, regardless if you claim it right away or claim it later on because you have that winning ticket, okay? So that's from my understanding. Again, if I'm wrong, someone in the comments below correct me. But basically that's how it's going to work. And again, that this is when the tokens can be live on radium to actually buy just yourself. Um, but again, this is how the lottery works. I know it's kind of confusing with the different numbers. Hopefully I explained everything really well. If I didn't rewatch the video, comment below um, and let me know if you have any questions. And again, please like this video if it helped you out. Please subscribe if you haven't really appreciate it. I try to help you out with these new videos on different farming videos or basically anything going on in the market, whether it's new upcoming projects, altcoins that I like, or any big news that happens with, say, something goes wrong uh, in a farming protocol, then I try to warn people for that as well. So uh, with that, till next time, thanks for watching.